Hello everyone. Greetings of peace. I am Sabita Gear, a representative of the Brahma Kumaris to the United Nations. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you our speaker for today, Brahma Kumari Jayanti Kirpalani. Sister Jayanti is the European Director of the Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual University and also the NGO representative to the United Nations in Geneva. As the European Director of the Brahma Kumaris and a spiritual leader and teacher for 50 years, Sister Jayanti has dedicated her life to self-transformation and service to humanity. She is a pioneer advocate for the spiritual basis of caring for the earth and a key presenter at the annual United Nations Climate Change Conference since 2009. As a BK representative to the UN in Geneva since 1982, Sister Genti has championed cooperative role of spiritual organizations in creating a just and peaceful world. She has brought spiritual principles to the discussion tables of politicians, economists, business leaders, scientists, and nearly every stakeholder of our times. Since 2009, she has headed the BK delegation to the United Nations Climate Change Conferences and has spoken internationally on the link between consciousness and climate change. At the onset of the COVID-19 global pandemic, she delivered many lectures, had interviews, and led meditations to help build inner capacity and empowerment to better deal with the challenges the world was encountering and is still facing today. For over 50 years, Sister Genti has been an emissary for peace. She has a vision and experience that is truly global and deeply spiritual. So it is with great pleasure that I invite you to listen to her message for United Nations Day. Thank you. Om Shanti, a greeting of peace to my sisters and my brothers. It is now 75 years since the UN was started. And of course, its main objective has always been peace in the world. And although we've had hundreds of wars confined to different continents, but definitely in the frame of the overall picture of the world, yes, there has been peace. And the UN has to be congratulated for being able to maintain that state of balance in which everything has worked together to be able to give us a world of peace. What is the future that we want and what is the UN that we need? Let me take up the subject of the UN first, perhaps. We need the UN. It's the only forum in the world where all countries can come together and share their thoughts and experiences and feelings and intentions and visions. But also, for many years now, civil society has been deeply involved and since the Charter of the UN states we the peoples of the world so definitely the people's voice is being heard and so I see how the future that we want to have a world in which people flourish and experience equity and happiness a planet which is green and bright and healthy a state in which people are at peace within themselves and there's peace in the world out there. Surely this is the sort of world that we would like to have. And I see that the UN is the incredible body through which all of this can be achieved. A message has been shared in which we are told that yes, the dignity and value and worth of human individuals is absolutely paramount. It states that in the Charter of the United Nations, 
and in the preamble of the Charter of UNESCO, again, we are told that wars begin in the minds of men and the defences of peace lie therein also. And so understanding all of these, I see that the foundation with which the United Nations began was a deeply spiritual one, one in which dignity, human flourishing, and of course, peace were prized very greatly. And this is the intention of the UN, to be able to make all of this part of our world today. We've seen through the years that although we've had more and more technology, although we've had more human resources, more financial resources, more information, we've had all of these things available to a greater and greater extent, yet we haven't been able to accomplish the sustainable development goals in the way that we would like to. But now I see that there's that ingredient of bringing back human values, spiritual values back into the discourse so that yes, truly, we can once again have the sort of world that we would like to have. And definitely, my thanks to all the people through the years who have given their tireless effort and amazing enthusiasm and will to support the UN and make the UN function. And I know that together with the governments, as the civil society comes together, surely the UN will be able to share with the world the things that we would like to have. I know that that vision of a better world is possible and the change that happens within can definitely be realized in the world out there also. I look forward to a world of peace ahead. Thank you. Om Shanti.